Good afternoon and welcome to your weekly FX Options Report. Today is Wednesday, October 14, 2009. The U.S. major averages are seeing a strong advance helped by stronger than expected Q3 earnings reports. Now in midweek trade, J.P. Morgan Chase as well as Intel topped expectations. Now the major indexes are up by over 1% and the Dow Industrials are edging closer to the 10,000 mark. In terms of data releases, the Commerce Department reported that retail sales fell 1.5% in September. This was the biggest decline in nine months, but we do have to keep in mind that this weakness does follow the end of the government's cash for clunkers program. Meanwhile, retail sales for September, excluding auto figures, gained 0.5%. Also, overseas data show that Chinese exports fell at a slower than expected pace, with the September trade uh, surplus down to $12.9 billion. Exports were weaker than imports, but also September M2 money growth quickened to 29.3% year over year. The market will also be keeping an eye on developments from the Senate Banking Committee on any guidelines to help modify commercial real estate loans. And shifting our focus on over to the spot FX market, the dollar does continue to see downward pressure against the euro. Uh, euro dollar did touch a high of 1 and 49, 19 in the New York session, and the euro has not topped that level since the beginning of August 2008. Meanwhile, the dollar has come off earlier weakness against the Japanese yen after falling below the 89 level overnight. Now, one way to trade your views on U.S. dollar strength or weakness is to take a look at IC's FX options. One advantage is that they are U.S. dollar denominated. For more information, you can go to www.fxoptions.com. And now in our next segment, we'll take a closer look at the FX option pairs, starting out with dollar Aussie. Now for AUX, the short-term outlook is that the pair is under pressure. The immediate trend does remain on the downside and the momentum is strong. The preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot of 118.25 with targets standing at 105 and 102 in extension. Now moving on to dollar sterling, which is ticker symbol BPX, in the short term, the downside does prevail. The pair has struck against its resistance and should face weakness. The preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot of 64, with targets standing at 61.75 and 60.50 in extension. Now moving on to dollar CAD ticker symbol CDD, in the short term, the pair is under pressure. Now, keeping that in mind, the RSI is capped by a bearish trend line and the preference of trading central analysts is short positions with uh, below 107.50 with targets at 198.30. Now, looking at dollar euro, ticker symbol EUI, in the short term, the pair is also under pressure. The RSI is capped by a medium term declining trend line and is on the downside and is bl breaking below its support. The preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot with targets standing at 67 and 65.50 in extension. Now let's take a look at dollar Swiss franc, which is ticker symbol SFC. In the short term for this pair, the downside does prevail and the pair is breaking below its support. The preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot of 104.40 with targets standing at 101.30 and 99 in extension. And last but not least, let's take a look at dollar yen, which is ticker symbol YUK. In the short term, the pair is under pressure. Now, the pair is also challenging its intermediary resistance and should face a down move. The preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot of 92.40, with targets standing at 87 and 85 in extension. And now let's move on to your weekly trend opinion for ISC's FX options. Now, last week, the U.S. dollar continued to lose ground against the major currency pairs. And because of the downside, the targets on the put for the CDD, which uh, trading central analysts did give a uh, trade alert for, and those puts, um, along with the puts for EUI, saw a gain of 100%. Now, in terms of portfolio performance, currently it does stand at 1,174.72% since its inception. And since the beginning of the year, the portfolio is up by 543.73%. Now, we do have a trade alert for you right now, and this week Trading Central does remain short on the U.S. dollar. And they did recommend in their follow-up last Monday to enter new puts on the EUI, and they did take advantage of this bearish trend. Also, last Tuesday, uh, Trading Central sent out an alert recommending buying puts on the YUK. And this was because the pair would strike against its bearish channel upper boundary, and also because the RSI was turning down. Now, Trading Central Analysts will be taking a look at the NZD as well as the AUX, which do remain badly directed and do not show any reversal signs right now. Looking ahead to next week, Trading Central Analysts will remain short on the U.S. dollar and will be focusing on the BPX as well as the SFC. 
for the BPX uh, is approaching a short, strong resistance and should face a down move. And for the SFC, it is currently under pressure, challenging its strong support. And that wraps it up for this week's FX Options Report. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday for your latest update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.